I'm the Rock Hopper. Today we're gonna take a hike up the Vulture Peak Trail. Vulture Peak 3660. Right there. You might want to sign in to the visitor register. Come on, let's go. It's a beautiful late February spring day and the California poppies are starting to pop here in the Arizona desert. Bees are buzzing. Look at all those beautiful poppies. The Sonoran Desert contains a diverse array of plant life, the most iconic being the saguaro cactus, a symbol of the Southwest. There's an abundance of cactus out here, such as prickly pear, choya, and of course, the stately suaro. This is a young suaro standing about three and a half feet tall. It could be about ten years old. These are teddy bear choyas. Look but don't touch. You don't want to be playing in here. These two are barrel cactus. Did you know it could take up to 50 years until a suaro cactus starts to sprout another little limb such as this one off the side? The suaro to the left could be over 150 years old. This is our trail, and that's the peak off in the distance. You can see the red fruit on this little tiny choya. I've got my foot in the shot for scale. This little suaro is probably over five years old. We've got Palo Verde out here, Ocotillo over here, with its spring foliage starting to pop out. And this is an ironwood tree. They can live to be over 1,500 years old. Some of the suaros out here have anthropomorphic qualities, like this one, which looks like a character out of Star Wars. Did you know that suaro cactus can live to be over 250 years old? Here's a cute set of twins, suaro cactus. I'm not sure what this plant is, but with its little flowers, it's pretty. And we've got lupins with our poppies. A beautiful sight out in the desert. Here's a close-up of owl's clover. Here's a shot of desert chicory. This plant right here. Have a look at that. See that leaf? That's sow thistle, and it's edible. Here's a closer look at sow thistle. Here's some fillery, and you can see the little purple flower there. And this stuff also is edible. All right, so if you have a Jeep or an ATV, you can actually drive to here, but for the rest of us, we have to hike the 1.4 miles to get to here. And the trail keeps on going, and up to the top of the peak. Here's a look at what's behind us so far. So far it's been relatively smooth and just a little bit hilly, but now we're going up the incline, and it's going to get steeper from here on in. See the landscape behind me a little bit and it's getting pretty steep right now we're going up to the saddle and here's a look out to the desert Okay, it looks like we're coming up to the saddle now, and we should get our first view. 
And there's the landscape coming into view right there. All right, we've made it to the saddle. Now it's time to head up to the top. Let's go. Heading up to the top. There's a barrel cactus fruit, and yes, you can pluck them and eat them. Got a whole lot of seeds inside of them. Can you see all the little seeds inside? Kind of a fruity taste, kind of a tart, yeah, like a tart taste. Yeah, if you don't have any water with you, like I don't today, these little things are kind of tasty. You know, a little bit juicy and uh, give it that little tartness. Not bad, tastes pretty good. A little refreshment. Survey marker for the top of Vulture Peak. When you get to the top, you can sign the peak register if you like. All right, we're up at the top and the view is a good one. Let's have a look. Looking to the north. Looking to the east. And looking to the west. That was a peregrine falcon just flying by right there. Climbing to the top of Vulture Peak on the Vulture Peak Trail in Arizona with me. You keep on subscribing and I'll keep taking you to the top. Until next time, this is Rock Hopper. I'll see you again.